With the gold to silver ratio sitting around 64, I'm going to try to turn this silver into this gold. Stacking Cat. Hello everyone and welcome to the Stacking Cat channel where I talk all things silver with a little bit of gold. If you haven't yet subscribed, then please do so. And if you enjoy what you see, then hit that like button and share this video. So as you can see, I have a mixture of silver out here on the table, a bunch of different things. We've seen silver kind of go through the roof. Uh, we'll see where that goes. We're on Monday, February 1st, 2021. Silver is currently sitting at about 29 38 the last time I checked with a gold to silver ratio or a silver to gold ratio I should say of around 63 to 1 and so I called my local coin shop Castro Valley coin to see if they were interested in doing a ratio trade so I have something set up with them and I'm going to head out there and try to turn all of this silver into an ounce of gold so let's go do that Okay, so I'm back, and as you guys could see, I did get some gold right here. I was able to trade in some silver for the express purpose of getting an ounce of gold, or close to it. I'll talk about that in just a second. I ended up trading in a wide variety of silver. It was some three nines fine government bullion from some of the African nations, like the Somali elephant, the Congo gorilla, some Royal Australian Mint stuff, and the Caribbean islands, as well as the South Pacific. So a big mix of three nines, as well as some half dollars, some uh, 90 percenters, obviously, some old circulated Morgan and Peace dollars, a 10 ounce bar, and a five ounce America the Beautiful. So I traded all those in just to grab some gold, now, I initially was going to go for a one ounce American Gold Eagle. However, this was just too good of a deal to pass up. And it is, of course, a 1927S $20 St. Gaudens Double Eagle. Now, this has to be my favorite coin. I've had my eye on it there at Castro Valley Coins for quite a while and finally found the right opportunity to purchase it. Now, I would not call this a straight ratio trade because the price, there was a little bit of a premium on this. Now, I did work out a good deal, though, with Greg, who is the owner of the shop, for the silver that I sold a little bit above spot, so that panned out. However, I'm not going to tell you guys the exact price that I paid for this, just because I want to keep it between myself and the shop and to protect them. I don't want to create any type of misconceptions when it comes to what they're selling their gold or buying their silver for. So for that instance, I will keep it at that and just say that it was a pretty good deal. Now this is 0 0.9675 ounces of gold compared to an American gold eagle, which is one ounce. This is of course 90% gold and 10% copper. Just a beautiful example of what a coin can be. We could see the eagle flying through the sun rays. We have In God We Trust there on the bottom. Let's get that a little bit closer. And of course, you see United States of America, $20. Now, it does have another cool feature. Let's see if I can get it to focus in a little bit there. You guys could see the stars around the rim which is a cool thing. You don't see them on too many coins. You see them on some Mexican silver and gold coins, like the Libertads and some of the older stuff. 
However, it is pretty rare to see it on American currency, so I'm really happy about that. There are 48 of them, which happened to be the amount of states back in 1927. So, uh, the St. Gaudens, it was minted between 1907 and 1933. Now, they did take a break between 1917 and 1919. That was weird to say, 1919. Yeah, so for three years, they did not mint it. However, beautiful coin. It has 48 stars around the edges as well. So big uh, fan of this. Like I said, it was a bucket list item. This is my favorite coin, silver or gold out there. So I'm really happy to have finally got it. Now let's talk about the trade and if it's a good decision for you guys out there, and I'll tell you my thought process for why I decided to go ahead and do it. Get that right there. Now, so the reason why I decided to make this uh, particular trade was the fact that I was trying to thin out a little bit of silver, and I found this at the right time. Of course, the Redditors out there in the Wall Street Bets forum made that GameStop move, and there was a lot of chatter over the weekend that silver was going to be their next play. Of course, it was paper silver. It had nothing to do with the physical metal. However, the physical metal is what would back up that paper. The paper, of course, is just pure speculation. Uh, we saw back in 1980 with the Hunt brothers who over-speculated, and their position was much more than the actual amount of silver that was out there and they were not able to come through. Rules were changed, which says you now have to have the physical silver to back up any trade. So I don't think they will be able to get up as high as they did with GameStop. So I don't think it's gonna be hitting $1,000 for that reason that I just mentioned. However, we could see it get to the 35 to 40 range, maybe even 50. I think it's also silver finally adjusting to the value where it should be. It has been undervalued for such a long time. Maybe it's just kind of going towards the mean where, where it should have been this whole entire time. Now, silver, when I made this trade, was sitting at 29.62, I believe. And gold was at 1862. Now I know it's dropped just a tad as of filming this video. Of course, it is Monday, February 1st of 2021. So we also saw the demand really grow as soon as all this, all the word went out there about what these Reddit forums were going to end up doing, or just one specific Reddit forum, I should say, Wall Street Bets. And the demand for physical really skyrocketed. We saw a lot of the online bullion sites see sales. So that is a first. I've never seen that before. They decided to pull all their inventory to wait and see what was going to happen. Of course, there was a lot of anticipation that silver may open around 35. Of course, it opened like at around 2850. It did get over 30 at one point in the middle of the night. And then it's been settling in around the 29 to 29.50 range. So we'll see what plays out this week. It should be very interesting. Of course, there's been a lot of talk about this, a lot of articles, a lot of TV shows, a lot of videos on the matter, uh, specifically on GameStop and the hedge fund short that Melvin Capital pulled and how this band of Redditors got together and decided to do a short squeeze, put in all their money and bet on GameStop. And that's what it was. I mean, when you're betting a kind of an empty valued stock with not a lot of leverage, that's what happens. It is a gamble. They got the price really high. We saw a lot of, well, I'm not going to get into it too much. You guys know about it, but just a lot of potential malpractice by different apps like Robinhood and Ameritrade. But that is for the actual financial advisors I do not purport to be a financial advisor myself. I just like to stack silver and gold and talk about it on my videos. So that is my position. So should you guys do the same thing? Should you make a gold to silver ratio trade? Now, I did this as an incremental step. I This is just a fraction of the silver that I own. I'm not going all in and selling my entire stack for gold. I want to see how it plays out. But I saw it as an opportunity to raise my gold position a little bit by an ounce. And to myself, that is quite a bit. So 
I wanted to take advantage and I decided to go ahead and make it happen. Now, when it comes to you guys out there, uh, there's one thing to take into consideration. That's your dollar cost average. How is that played into any of the decisions you'll be making? Now, my dollar cost average was sitting, oh, hovered around 22, I would say. So it ended up working out in my favor in this particular uh, transaction. However, you want to take that into consideration. You don't want to get stuck where you're losing money because of premiums. Now, this St. Gaudens did have a little bit of a premium on it or attached to it. So I did not do a straight gold to silver ratio trade. It was more of just selling some silver. I did not want the cash. I wanted to turn it into gold. That was my my whole plan. If I wanted to go for the cash, I'd probably wait and see how silver played out a little bit. I just felt it was a good opportunity to make a move just to see what happened and to get my feet wet a little bit in that regard. So I was able to uh, do it. This is solely up to you, though. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. I just want to talk about a few of the considerations you may want to take on when it comes to making a decision like this. Okay, so uh, let me know down in the comments below, what are you guys going to do? Are you going to hold on to your silver and see if it does hit that $35, $40, $50 range? Are you going to do a similar transaction where you where you sell enough silver to maybe get an ounce of gold, maybe a half ounce of gold, maybe a quarter ounce who knows what it may be, but just a similar transaction. Or are you going to sell some silver and pocket some cash? And see how it goes from there. Uh, so let me know down in the comments. And that is going to wrap things up then for this video. And if you'd like to see similar videos about silver with a little bit of gold, then please subscribe and push that notification bell. Smash that like button and leave a comment. And until next time, this is the Stacking Cat.